Hi, I'm Carl Herzog, Public Historian for the USS Constitution Museum. After our video a couple weeks ago about boys serving on board USS Constitution, a friend of mine wrote me and asked, how do I get my kids on a job, a job on a ship like that? After a long day of homeschooling, I can only dream of offering them the opportunity to learn seamanship far, far away. <laughs> After last week's uh, video on packing for sea, there were a couple other people who wrote in surprised to learn that sailing ships like this were still operating um, on the oceans and that they were available to the public. Why are sailing ships like USS Constitution and other sailing ships ending up having second careers and third careers in education long after their useful functions as warships or transport have declined? Sailing ships in particular, and all ships, are, serve as amazing platforms for education, and USS Constitution is certainly no exception to that. It's not that learning to sail these ships necessarily has a direct application anymore, but it's the things that you can learn from sailing them and working together as a team underway at sea that makes them incredibly valuable from an educational standpoint. Certainly USS Constitution is no exception to that. Long after she stopped sailing uh, as a, a warship engaged in, uh, in naval activities, she continued to work as a school ship in a variety of functions. A number of other sailing ships have continued to do the same thing. It's so successful that in the 1900s, long after sailing ships had become uh, largely obsolete in terms of cargo transport and certainly in terms of warfare, New ships are continuing to be built uh, to specifically train people. Again, it's not just training people for the merchant trades or for the marine trades, as much as it was the other things that you can learn from, from a ship by serving on it or by just visiting at it, even if it's sitting at the dock. As we well know at the USS Constitution Museum, ships can teach us history. Whether they're fully operational sailing ships or whether they're still sitting at the dock as part of a museum or in the unique case of Constitution as an active duty uh, commissioned warship that is serving an educational function, ships are platforms for taking us back in time. They teach us not only the history about themselves and the roles that the ship itself played, but they serve to connect us to other periods and immerse us in a history and heritage that uh, is unique to whatever that individual's past is. In the case of Constitution, this has largely meant naval history and heritage. Beginning almost immediately after Constitution had her last active duty in a, a squadron off the coast of West Africa in the 1850s, the ship was refitted and sent down to the U.S. Naval Academy to begin serving as a home and training vessel for cadets at the Naval Academy. In this image, we can see uh, a number of the cadets studying, learning, and even living on board the gun deck of USS Constitution. The ship served this purpose throughout the American Civil War and was even relocated from Annapolis, where the Naval Academy was, up to Newport, Rhode Island to keep it safe from incursions by the Confederacy. For these cadets, living on board USS Constitution was not so much providing them an education in how to sail a square rigger, as much as it was really connecting them to the history and heritage of the service that they were entering. And that's still true today. Every summer, new chief petty officers converge on USS Constitution, and they spend a week actually living on board the ship and conducting the tasks and learning the activities that would have been necessary to sail Constitution 200 years ago. They'll set and strike sails, they'll row small boats, they'll even conduct boarding pipe drills. Now, it's unlikely any of these kinds of specific skills are going to be needed in their careers as chief petty officers once they go back to modern ships in the fleet, but being on board Constitution, the oldest ship in the Navy, as they begin to take this leadership role in the service, connects them to the history and values and, and heritage of the service that they are stepping up to. And then there's the more directly applied benefit that comes from participating in these exercises, which is that they provide an amazing experience in teamwork and leadership. This is the one of the reasons that sailing ships in particular continue to thrive uh, as training vessels, uh, even though they may not be serving as warships or transport anymore. Getting groups of people together to work on board a ship creates an environment in which 
teamwork and leadership is critical to getting the vessel to go where you want her to go. A full rig sailing ship like Constitution is probably one of the most complex machines of the pre-industrial age. There's a choreography of crew that's necessary in order to set the sails, adjust them to the wind, and get the ship to go where you want it to go or fulfill whatever mission you have for it. This is why USS Constitution, even after the Civil War and after her service as a residence for cadets in the Naval Academy, went back to sea to serve as an active training ship for another program that was designed to bring young people, give young people an avenue into the Navy. This image is actually of USS Constitution under sail entering Chesapeake Bay, and in fact it may be both the first photograph ever taken of the ship under sail, and it may also be the last photograph of the ship taken when it was actively sailing. This was in 1881. That was the last time Constitution sailed under her own power until 1997, when she set sail again as part of the celebration surrounding the 200th anniversary of her launch. She sailed under her own power again for a very short amount of time in 2012 as part of the commemoration surrounding the War of 1812, but aside from those two times, Constitution has essentially not sailed under her own power. This, however, has not kept the crew from continuing to practice setting and furling sails. As you'll see in this video, they do so at the dock fairly regularly in Charlestown Navy Yard in the summertime when the ship is rigged up with sails. This continues to provide sort of the same elements of teamwork experience and leadership and an exercise in what it takes to set the massive sails of the ship. It's connecting the crew who are giving the tours to the general public with the history of what's required to actually operate this mammoth vessel. Keep in mind, there's about 450 crew when she was actively sailing versus the roughly 70 crew who are on board right now. And it gives the crew who are on board and participating in this an exercise in challenging themselves as well. If you've never climbed up that tall or hung out on a yard arm trying to furl a sail, whether stable at the dock or in a rolling sea offshore, I can assure you it's a challenge. But even if you're not up there actually doing it, just watching the sail evolution unfold and understanding how the ship sails and rigging work can provide an education in itself. That's because one of the other things that sailing ships like USS Constitution can teach us about is science. Building and sailing a vessel like Constitution is an exercise in physics and the balance of forces. You're balancing the weight of this vessel with its ability to stay afloat. Once you add sails and rigging on, you begin to consider the forces of the wind against the sails and the waves and the vectors of those forces that are moving the hull through the water. So you combine all these opportunities to teach science, learn about vessel design, physics, forces. You add on to that uh, the opportunity to learn about the history of an individual vessel, the things it did. You tack on to that opportunities to experience teamwork, uh, leadership, cooperation, combine the history and that teamwork to begin to understand how a crew lived and worked and operated 200 years ago and what lessons those 200 year old crew have to offer for crew and for us in any kind of teams on shore. Add all of this together and you begin to understand why sailing ships like USS Constitution and others continue to serve as such amazing platforms for education. It's because they're exactly that. They are a platform. Whether it's a ship that's serving as a platform that is literally taking us to another place or an imaginative platform that's allowing us to explore all these ideas on a ship that is sitting alongside a dock, ships are still world educators. This is one of the reasons that the USS Constitution Museum, we still expand it looking at the bigger stories that USS Constitution has to tell because over her more than 200 years of service, that ship has played a role 
in elements of world geography and world history that span the globe. And so we have an opportunity to use the ship there again too, to teach even those broader social studies topics, geography, politics, world history as well. And now when it's not possible to visit the ship or the museum in person, we're continuing to offer up these lessons uh, virtually online, including our latest one that just premiered this week, A Sailor's Life Live. This is essentially one of our joint educational programs conducted with USS Constitution Museum's educational staff and the active duty crew on board Constitution to talk about different themes and topics related to the War of 1812 and Constitution's role in it. This past week's uh, topic was on communication during the War of 1812, and similar webinars are going to be held each week uh, on Wednesdays live. You can sign up for them through our USS Constitution Museum website, and you'll also be able to see the results of them uh, archived through our website and social media. I hope this has proved interesting and I hope you have a new appreciation for the value that USS Constitution and other sailing ships still operating today can offer us in terms of education. If you have questions or comments about this, don't hesitate to post to our social media. And as always, if you have other ideas for videos you'd like to see, please post there as well too. Talk to you soon.